I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Left across the square. Hey, Tamir, do you think the colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself. Ah, with let him learn to stand up for himself. Ah, yeah, how right. else can he hope and to survive in the match? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else! And the Order is here to defend it! Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Nah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Eh? Well, sadly, it's their job already. You must come back to the order. Job or no job, if they keep doing that. I left the order, and now nobody gets to decide for me. Alpha, Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. Move, he gave us Duke. a scare, brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? Yeah. I see you're all right. Gentlemen, give this way. calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars, and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, you are you the nurse of the hospital, huh? You're just stop crowding him. <sighs> Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, uh, previat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You 
guys are like this. So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held.
Well, we take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get up there. Have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Peter, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro, whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
Camp watchmen broke through. Workers are done for. Attention! The turntable is switching on. Come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman! A human? How did you... Oh, oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her. All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. This is trouble!
Wait a moment. Wait. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. Before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Moving. Here, quick! Let's go. All on operate Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. Take on me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Hey guys, Be careful. Hey. 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 Artyom, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. Don't move too fast and don't come out into the light. You'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either. They could notice. Artyom, incoming. Two of them. I'll give you some cover from above.
garbage all over the place. Oh well, what can you do?
the guards won't let us get away. We have to do something about them first. Young man, the place is crawling with guards. They must be dealt with. Am I glad to see you here? Are you alright? I'm fine, thank you. Alright. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and on, switch Jim. the turntable mechanism on.
bases, over. Roger that base, over. All right, shoot these two. And as for the engineer... Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Is don't this the you dare give me a limb, soldier. Dare. The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Uh. Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What the hell? Artur! What are you doing here? Talk about surprise! Colonel, this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe it. Shit! So this is true? You're working for them? The bastards shot Artyom! Be quiet! See? How did you end up here? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line. No, oh, shit, the water sure. won't let No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people from other cities, dead! All of them, women, children! I'll tell you all later, everything. Gramps, what's going on out there, down this road? The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course, we have to make haste though. They got the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to this not my this call, and you know misunderstanding. Well, I'll general. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. Our ex-partners, throw these overboard and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Are you fucking kidding me? 
me, a traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No, I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you... I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! But I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! Not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next, and I... Why the wrong face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? 
Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you Our mean, war? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, Maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are a command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If our team finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there's nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to... Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Area 18-5. I repeat, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 18-1-79. What was that number supposed to be? Is somewhere around here, the Yamantau Mountain. So the route from here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work! We will tell them that Moscow is alive! It wasn't all for nothing! Everything will change! Everything! Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out to me! Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. 
Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to yeah. the world. Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Full I'm steam ahead. Wow, that's share, some I distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the brakes! Shots fired! Four bogeys on a trolley! Damn! That pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? 
someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that breach. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. You're back. When can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's, let's prepare go, the Aurora for defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, sir. Duke. I need you to okay. on the Don't forget your backpack. Yes, it's a new module. A portable you workshop, so yes, to speak. Sir. The manual is inside. Yes, sir. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. Well, I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. What was that? <sighs> Did you check it out? Took a look around while you're inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg.
cell tower, waving a rag or something. Please, investigate. I see people at the church. None seem to be armed. We'd better try the open approach. Let's not fire first, okay? Our father, Celantius, has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons sheathed. And well. Dwellers won't even talk to heretics, but I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this place all that year. Under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silentia has fooled them just like the locals, but unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here, and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nasty and I can get to your train by ourselves. We've been thinking about escape for a long time. <laughs> Even got a boat. But we didn't have anywhere to go. I can usually... Mommy, mommy,
I give up. Praise be to Sir Fish, the protector of the people. Oh, fish, save the faithful from death, and protect them from wrath of human and beast alike. I have had it with fights! I, I, I give up! Give up! Are you alright? A shame you couldn't get away quietly, without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Ah oh well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And holy...
<laughs> You're alive. <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all locked out with Anna. She's a total dead-eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Artyom, stop by my desk Thank once you. you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. So, Katya... Where are you at from? The southern Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga. So we made the journey. 